Hi, I'm Maya, a member of FRC Team Wave Robotics from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Today I'm reading with Sharky, and today's book is Art is Everywhere, a book about Andy Warhol by Jeff Mack. Oh, hello, I'm Andy. This is the story of my art. I hope you like it. Once upon a time, I drew shoes. Lots of pretty shoes. I drew them for a shoe company. It was my job. All day long, it was shoe, 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 shoe. I felt like a robot in a factory. It was so cool. There were so many shoes to draw. I paid other artists to help me. Me, Nathan, Mom. My mom added words to my drawings. She won awards for her lettering. Beauty is shoe. Shoe beauty. That's one of my favorites. Mom and I did everything together. We lived together. We worked together. We shopped for groceries together. On Sunday, we went to church together. This is me with my mom, Julia. Doesn't she look like a real artist? What does a real artist look like anyway? When I was in art school, I colored my hair bright green. Did green hair make me an artist? I don't think so. I guess I just wanted to be different. After I moved to New York City, I wore wigs, lots of wigs. It, my whole life long, it was wig, 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 wig. My hair was always changing, but underneath, it was still the same me, over and over again. I wanted my art to change with the times, so I drew the things I saw around me. They're the same things we see all day long. Look, I drew this. Isn't it pretty? It's soup. Do you like soup? We all like soup. I drew lots of soup. It just looks like the soup shelf at the grocery store. So pretty. Some people said my soup wasn't real art. They said it was just soup. I guess they didn't see soup the same way I saw soup. I think art is about liking things. It's about seeing the things around us in a new way. Seeing them as pretty. Everything is pretty, don't you think? Animals are pretty, cars are pretty, flowers are pretty. Things you grow, things you build, things you buy. Just look around you. Art is everywhere. Look at her. Don't you think she's pretty? She was a famous movie star. I saw her face everywhere, so I printed her over and over again. Did I make her famous, or did she make me famous? And what about these boxes? They're pretty, right? Pretty cool. I mean, gosh, they're exactly the same as the ones in the store. I made them here in my factory. Some people thought a machine made them, but it was really me. Okay, I didn't make them all myself. Jared made some, and Bridget made one too, I think. All day long we made them, box, 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 box. It was so cool. We were like robots, making things over and over. Why should artists have to make everything themselves? Look, I also made a movie. It's the Empire State Building, the most famous building in the world. Isn't it pretty? The lights, the clouds, the city smog. Do you like movies? We all like movies. My movie was eight hours long. You could just sit there and watch the Empire State Building for eight hours. All night long. Empire State Building, 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 Empire State Building. It was very pretty. Some people said it wasn't a real movie. They said it over and over again. The more they talked about it, the more famous my art became. The more famous my art became, the more famous I became. The more famous I became, the more people wanted to buy my art. The more art they bought, the more art I made. The more art I made, the more people said that it wasn't really art. They said it over and over again. I got so confused. How do you know when something is really art or when it isn't? Oh, look, these were my rock stars. Don't they look cool? I think so. They played music at my factory parties. Do you like music? 
They played music while I showed my movies to them. Movies and music and cow wallpaper and silver pillows floating like clouds. It was all so pretty. Look at this. I made a magazine. It's called The Interview. And it's full of famous faces. I saw these faces everywhere, over and over again. What does it mean to be famous? Soup is famous. Brio boxes are famous. The Empire State Building is famous. If everyone were famous, who would really be famous? I made a TV show, too. Everyone likes TV, right? If you weren't famous, you could go on my TV show. Then you would be a famous TV star. One day, we'll all be stars. TV stars, movie stars, rock stars, all kinds of stars. Do you like stars? We all like stars. One day, we will all be stars of our own shows. And we will all like each other, over and over again. Gee, won't that be great? There will be so much to like, things to watch, things to follow, things to share. Just look around you. Art is everywhere. FIRST has opportunities for learners of all ages to engage in robotics, from kindergarten through high school. For more information, visit firstinspires.org. Thanks for joining us on Reading with Robots.